Hey Honors Geometry, today we're going to jump into our third unit. This is going to be coming out of our, our chapter 9 from our book, so you, when you see these 9s, that's, that's where this comes from. Uh, and we're going to be doing um, all of our different transformations in this unit. So we're going to start with reflections. Uh, a reflection um, is, uh, we're going to do reflections uh, of an image, and so this is going to be more than just, you know, like lines and stuff, but we're going to be doing other, like, shapes and so on. Um, and we're going to do them all across uh, uh, lines and, and through vertices. Um, so we're always going to be taking each point, uh, each vertex of the image, so the, those are like the corners of the triangle or whatever shape you're dealing with, uh, and move them the same distance from the line in the uh, as the corresponding vertex in the, the pre-image. So uh, we, we take our, our point and move it whatever distance towards the line or the point that we're reflecting to um, and, and and go out the other direction, uh, that, that same amount. So we'll get to some examples of that. Um, so when we're reflecting across the x-axis, what does that do? So this x-axis down here, if we're reflecting across it, what's going to change is our y value. So um, our, our x value is not going to change at all. Our x coordinate is not going to change as we as we do that flip, but our y value will change, uh, and it'll change signs. So we'll go from x, y to x, negative y. And so if y was negative to begin with, it'll flip positive. If y was positive to begin with, it'll flip negative. So the x coordinate does not change, uh, and the y coordinate tells the distance from the x, uh, uh, sorry, the, does not change. The y coordinate tells the distance from the x axis. Um, and so then we multiply that y coordinate by negative one. And so if y was up at like positive three or three above, we're going to go multiply that coordinate by negative one. We're going to go three units below the x-axis and, and do that. All right. So similar, reflecting across the y-axis. If we're reflecting across the y-axis. Uh, our x coordinate will not change. We'll just move horizontally. Um, sorry, did I say that right? Yeah, um, our y coordinate will not change. Our x coordinate will move. We will move horizontally. So our x coordinate will be the opposite sign, and um, our, our y coordinate will stay the same. Uh, so the y coordinate does not change. And the x coordinate, we'll get that distance from the y axis, and then we'll, we'll go that distance out the other way. And that's, we could take the, we can multiply ultimately that x coordinate by negative one. All right, a couple other kind of somewhat common reflections. The reflection across the line y equals x. So if we were cross, reflect across the, the line y equals x, um, you may have done this before with, with algebra, you actually get the inverse, uh, and that's, um, we will swap the x and the y. Uh, and so those x and y coordinates switch places. So if I re re reflect across the line y equals x, like we eventually will here, I can kind of sketch this one in there. If you had a point um, at like 4, um, let's just say 4, 0 right there, uh, if we reflect that across this axis, we'll end up at 0, 4 over here. Or if we were at 4, 1, we'll end up at 1, 4, um, reflecting across that, that diagonal y equals x. All right, and then the last one, if we reflect across the origin. So if we're reflecting, um, this is, we can kind of do a reflection uh, across the line. We can also do reflect across a point. And so what you do in, in that case is you move straight towards that point and move kind of out the other side and that's whatever distance you traveled to that point. And so uh, kind of a re reflecting in on a point and then going out the other way. Um, and so if we do that, ultimately we change both signs. Uh, and so we multiply both coordinates. Uh, by negative one. Um, so if you have, if you're reflecting through a point, if you're, you know, four to the right, you'll you'll end up four to the left. And if you were two up, you'll end up two down uh, as you reflect through that origin. All right, so let's do some examples here. And we're going to actually do it with these points. And we're going we're gonna to kind of model this as a shape. So uh, starting out, we're going to start out at negative three, four. So one, two, three, up four, 
uh, and plot that first point. Sorry, the, the quality of this copy is not great. Uh, so that is A. And then B is at 0, 1. So right there at 0, 1. Uh, and that's going to be B. And then C is at 4, 2. So 4, and then try to get this up to right about there. And that is C. And so this is our starting um, shape that we're going to use. And we're actually going to use this in all of our different transformations. We're going to keep using that triangle over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and do a reflection in this case. We're actually not going to do one of these standard reflections up here, this common ones. We're going to start with another one. We're going to reflect over the line x equals 2. So x equals 2 is actually, let me do this in, um, let me do this in this color. Uh, we're going to do this reflecting over this line right here. So x equals 2 would be that vertical line. Um, and so that's the line we want to reflect over. And so what we'll do with each point, um, so we call this our pre-image. The image is what we get kind of after we, after we do our transformation. Um, so from our pre-image, A, we can kind of see going straight toward that line, uh, our distance here, we're going from, this is negative three, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five to that line. And then we go one, two, three, four, five out the other direction. Uh, and so if we if I counted that out right, I believe we end up right about there at seven. So let's see, I went from negative five to two, uh, or sorry, negative three to two, which is five over, five more from that, so it should be up at seven, up at the same um, Y coordinate. So that, that did not change. And so that would actually be our new A, and we'll do this A like with the little apostrophe A prime. Um, no, that's our, our, our image um, coming from this uh, pre-image. Um, then we can do that for each of these points. B starts out two to the left of this line. We're going to end up two to the right of that line. And so that's our B prime. And then C starts out two to the right, ends up two to the left, and it will, will reflect over here. So that's going to be where our um, C prime ends up. And so this triangle after, ref oh, I didn't draw that very well at all, sorry. Um, after reflecting over that line, we'll end up over there, and you should kind of see it reflecting about that line. All right, so this next one, uh, I've re redrawn the, the same exact blue triangle here, and we're going to reflect it over the line y equals negative 1. So this will be straight across here, and it's going to kind of go right through all these numbers since they're kind of in the way. Uh, but that's the horizontal, or the horizontal line we'll be reflecting over. So as we do this, our y value will be changing, our x value will stay the same. So if I start with a up here, it's one, two, three, four, five above the line, we're gonna go five below the line, and so b down here, and that's where a prime will end up. b was two above, we'll end up two below, and c is three above, and we go straight down from there, three below, and so we end up, should end up with a point like that, so that's our b prime and c prime, and we get that triangle reflected down there, look like that. All right, so in um, part C, uh, we are reflecting over the x-axis. Um, and so uh, that's just going to be this line straight across there, there our x-axis. And so this is very similar to the last one. We're just kind of not going reflecting quite as far. A starts four above the line. It will end up four below the line or below the x-axis. So we are just doing uh, this shift here where I'm going to basically take that y-coordinate and make it negative. So, you know, and if it was negative to begin with, it would be going positive. So um, going from four to negative four. B is going to go from 1 to negative 1. C is going to go from positive 2 to negative 2 for our y coordinates. And so that's where this triangle will end up after its reflection. That'll be A prime, B prime, and C prime there. All right, so in D, we're going to be reflecting over the y axis. So this y axis right there. You can see that show up at all. Um, and so we're just going to be doing this change here. We're going to be changing the x coordinate. We're going to basically be going the opposite. So for instance, a was negative 3. It's going to, if we multiply that by negative 1, it's going to become positive 3. And so positive 3, 4 is where a prime ends up. Uh, and flipping over that y axis, c was at positive 4. We'll go to negative 4. 
and that's with that same y value, so that'd be c prime, and b will actually stay right where it is. If you reflect when you're right on the line or the point, you go nowhere, so b prime ends up being that exact same point, and so our graph ends up looking like that, reflected over the y-axis. All right, so for e here, we are going to reflect over the line y equals x. So up here, we can see we can actually just do this by swapping the x and y coordinate. Um, but we are going kind of like straight toward that line and um, you know, and continuing on that distance in that direction. So we could do like distance. You guys actually know how to calculate distance and, and direction. But um, the easier way to do this is just swap x and y coordinates. So for instance, um, like b, you can kind of see right here as at 0, 1. Well, that's going to switch over here to 1, 0. Um, so this will actually be where b prime ends up. The, that's our pre-image. Here's our image. b prime will be there. Um, a was at negative 3, 4. So if we swap that, it'll be 4, negative 3. And so if we go 4, negative 3. That's where a prime ends up. And then c will actually make its shift. Um, it was over here at 4, 2. If we swap those x coordinates, then it would be 2, 4. So 2 and then 4 up. And again, we're going kind of, it goes straight at that line in this direction. You know, this one's kind of reflecting from this side of the line back to over there. And that's where C prime will end up. And so we'll end up with this shape here. And we should see it reflecting. And then you have that kind of symmetry about that line. All right, so F is a bit different. We're reflecting through a point instead of across a line. So in all these other ones, if I like look right up here, right above, when we, when we reflected through the line, we went straight at the line and straight across. And so we see kind of our, our reflections here. Um, you know, all those movements were, were parallel for all those. These, these movements here were parallel. Um, even these ones here, when reflecting that, that, point, that point moves all these lines of movement are parallel to each other. This one's a bit different. They all kind of converge on this point. Um, and since yeah, uh, we're going through this point, they're all going to converge on that point and then go out the other side in that same direction. So for instance, we can, we can follow this rule up here of doing the negative x, negative y. But let's think about why that happens. If I take a point like A and I go toward the origin, I'm going to go down 4 over 3 to get to that point. And then I can go down 4 over 3 again to get out that same distance in the opposite direction, you know, going, kind of continuing on in that direction. So down 4 over 3, down 4 over 3 would put me right about there. And that's actually where A prime is going to end up. B is just going to go down 1 to this point, right? We're reflecting through this point. So B is going to go down 1 to that point and then go down 1 more from there. And that's where B prime ends up. And C, if we kind of go towards that point, it's down to left uh, 4. And so we would go down to left 4 again and end up out here for our C prime. Um, and so this is the shape that we end up with as we reflect through the origin, end up through that point. And we can kind of see where those points went, right? This A went toward that point and out the other side. B went toward that point and out the other side, and C went toward that point and out the other side. And you can maybe see there how those points, that, that path that we had on, kind of converged through that point. So that's our last type of reflection, our reflection through a point.